Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to show now a number of different uh, ways to use the soft light blend mode. And we're going to contrast it sometimes, show the difference between where, what soft light does as opposed to overlay and hard light, which are other contrast blend modes, so you know that sometimes the soft light is better. By and large, soft light is just softer. It kind of says it on the tin. So, first of all, let's go to the add pixel layer. I'm going to put a pixel layer there, currently transparent, nothing's happening. So we will go to a quick way to colour. This is to go to the gradient tool, change the type to solid, and there we've got a white overlay. And we can click on the white and change the colour here. And it's a very useful way of doing it is with the HSL colour wheel here. But we're going to change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. Uh, sorry, beg your pardon, not overlay. You can see that we'll see what happens with overlay. You get that very hard effect. Soft light, so you can see a lot more of it. You can see the top of the bus and so on. Hard light on, just the whole thing just disappears. So soft light here. Then we can go up here. I can see there, you, just using white, you can use it for creating a high key image. And going the other way, you can use it for uh, helping with a low key image. And in between, you've got, it's like a slider here for darkness to lightness. And you can make the picture darker and lighter using this. And once you stray into the colour area, you've then got tinting. I notice the difference between a tint from the black one there, which is fairly hard. You're going for the light one here, which is into the lightness, but very often the best tint is somewhere right in the middle here, coming upwards from that. OK, so that's that one. Um, let's do a classic dodge and burn. So I go to curves here, change the blend mode to soft light here, and I pull this down and that's going to darken it. So I'm going to use this for burning, which is a darkening effect. And hit Control-I to invert it, so I'm going to have to paint white on the mask to bring it back again. But I can hit Control-J on this to duplicate it, and drag this in the opposite direction, and we'll call it some dodge. Now then, I can paint white on these, so I go to a paintbrush here, paint white to bring this back here and so I can now say for example go on here I can paint away all that dirt there you go I can clean this up obviously I can do this a bit more tidily normally doing it and you know paint other areas as well to clean it up and have other effects or I can go to the burn one which is make things darker and what's typical of soft light here is notice how nice it does it it is quite believable when it does those things as opposed to if we go to something like overlay see it's you know the way the blacks have just just disappeared the details lost so that is a useful way of doing dodge and burn what else oh let's do an interesting glow effect here well typically what you do a, a way of, of making a glow is go to a gaussian blur turn up the radius like that, put on preserve off to hold the edges and put a blend mode of say soft light on it and you've already got a nice blur there. You can actually extend this effect. I'm just going to go back to normal here and before this turn up off and put on a maximum blur. And if I turn this up what you get is a kind of blockiness. And what it's doing is doing that maximum blur first and then the Gaussian blur on top of that. So if I put that one on there, you can see it's actually blurring that maximum blur. So you get a stronger effect. So I shift click those, control G to group them, and then I can put a blend mode of soft light onto that. And you can see you're getting a much stronger glow effect there. So two ways to do glow, two for the price of one. Then what we can do is let's go to black and white. Filter here, again blend mode to soft light. And now what we can do is to 
tweak the colors here and so for example this stripe along here is looks like a pretty cyan so I can turn this up and down I can make it more cyan or take the cyan out and make it more blue and those are red details I can sort of bring those out here or play with them and so on so you've got effects there again if you do this with with say overlay see there's again that lot harder effect you know and hard you know hard like there's gone black and the other ones again there are effects which are not so just so gentle that the soft light does soft lights often useful when the others are not so what else oh let's just do one more let's do a gradient map so i go to let's say gradient map here and you can do two toning effects with this so let's just drag the middle out here in here we'll put a color for something that is dark so let's go to blue and take the the darker parts and make it darker for the shadow end of things which is here and then the top end there let's make that kind of opposite that a yellow but a very light end of a yellow there so taking that down towards the whites and we've got this effect here across the from so they're getting shadows there and light there but when we which you, you get the the picture there but what we do is if we put that to overlay that's oh, okay soft light is just a bit little bit more natural see the, here they're fairly similar but soft light there and you've got this really lovely effect and you can go back and tweak that again of course going well what happens if i change these here you're getting slightly different effects and it's basically putting blue into the shadows and there are light very light yellow into the highlights anyway that's enough that's kind of shows a number of the effects of the soft light and in particular how it's different to the other blend modes in the contrast blend mode group. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.